Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sandy and this is Frugal Friday. Today I'd like to talk about a few ways that I was frugal this past week and it started on Saturday. I am very thrilled with what I did and um, I'm just going to go through a few things that I accomplished and I feel really good about myself that I stuck to my frugal living uh, arrangement here that I, I put on myself. Uh, the first thing I did was, and folks, I know that prices, food prices are high right now and um, doesn't look like they're going to come down at all. But shop around because there are some stores that are, are not major chain stores that might be having a really good sale. Example, I went to a store in my area called Market Basket. It is a um, it is a chain of soup grocery stores. I think it's mostly on the East Coast. And um, I was reluctant to go in because I, I just didn't feel like walking around. But I wanted to see what they had. Um, now, you all know I've been really complaining a lot about the price of lettuce and the uh, quality of it. The, the uh, life of it is, I don't know, half of it's dead by the time you make a, your first salad. Good thing I went into the store. I was able to get romaine lettuce, three big heads that were perfect, absolutely perfect. And I got them for $2.99. I was so excited. I was like, wow, you know, I'm going to have some, some cheap salad this week. And also, I found, now potatoes have been through the roof. And I do have a lot put back that I've been using. Um, but I sometimes you just want fresh potatoes. You just want a baked potato. Or you just want to have them around. I was able to pick up five pounds of red skin potatoes also for two ninety nine. So that little trip to that store was well worth it. Um, some other things that I did is I spent, yes, I spent $23 at the Dollar Tree, but that was for long-term storage and some um, prep uh, working pantry items that I got. I got the milk. I got some muffin mixes, I got um, some biscuit mix mixes, um, I forgot what else I got. Oh, and I got some more diced potatoes because I find that those are a good thing to have on hand in the can. I was able to have creative meals all week. We weren't bored at all. And all I did was cook one or two things and then reassigned any leftovers and turned it into something else. So it really worked out well for me. And I still have containers in my freezer of some mashed potatoes, some zucchini stew, um, and a, a few other things that I am going to, I'm going to have to look through there. And today, this weekend's cold and windy. It might be a good weekend to cook and refill it. Um, however, there were a few ways I was not so frugal. Uh, the other night I was cooking and I decided to make some fresh potatoes, um, or potatoes, let's just say. So I, right away I went for the fresh ones, not realizing there was, um, about a half a can's worth of diced tomato potatoes in a, a container in my refrigerator. And I was like, oh, I could have used those. And I says, well, that's okay. I'll just make mashed potatoes with these. And then I said... After I got them done, I was like, okay, I have mashed potatoes in the freezer. But it, it's okay. No, nothing's going to happen to them. I'm sure they'll get used next week. Um, a few other ways I've been frugal is I still line dry my clothes. Now, it's been very cold here. Uh, not too much sun this week. We've had a lot of rain this winter. But I do have an indoor clothesline hooked up that I hang my clothes indoors. So it's paying off because my... Gas and electric usage has gone down. Um, now, I think the water bill went down a smidgen. I'm not sure. But I've also been using my dishwasher more. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But this is what I've done this week to be frugal. Um, I do still get milk delivery. For me, it's more economical because it lasts longer in the glass bottles. I don't have to fight the crowds in a store. Um... So I just prefer to keep that. That is my one luxury. Another uh, frugal thing. This was a gift. I consider this a gift. My state is giving away across the board. Doesn't matter your income. Okay. 
is giving away, um, I think it was $45 or $46 off your electric bill, which I am on the budget, so now my electric bill is like $20. Um, so that budget plan also works out. Now, you might want to call your gas and electric company, your utility company, whoever they are, and ask to be put on the budget plan. And what that is, is that's not like any kind of financial assistance or anything like that. They go by the usage, um, your first budget, well, they'll put you on the budget. They're going to go by what you used this time last year, okay? They're going to give you a set amount to pay every month, so there's no surprises. However, if you cut back on your usage, you have so much of that money put in a bank, and our statements show it on the top right corner. It'll say you have X amount of dollars in your favor. So anything that you go over during that six-month period before they reevaluate you, the money that you have stored in that bank goes towards that. Any money left over from that is spread out over the next six months and brings your utility down, your utility bill down even more. So I think it's a real good program. For me, it's it's fantastic. I'm going to love paying, you know, not that I don't, I used a lot less electricity this last year than I have in the past. But I, when the summer comes and I have to, you know, when I got the ACs going, yeah, I'm going to like paying X amount of dollars for electric. It's, it's going to be, you know, I mean, I can't fill your tank of gas for what I can pay for a month's worth of electricity. So I was very thrilled with that little bonus from the electric company. Uh, I Not so frugal things this month were. I, um, I had to get a car repair, $600. So that extra 40-something from the electric company is really coming in handy. I'm really glad. Really glad I got that. So that's it for today. Just wanted to give everyone an update on what's going on. Let you know that I am still alive. I know some of you must have missed me. I know I miss being on here. And um, that's it. That's how I was frugal this past week. And I got some more videos coming up later on today or throughout the weekend. So stay tuned and hit subscribe if you don't want to miss them. I'll catch you all on the